Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the brand new release from Casherelle in their Yes I Am range. It is Yes I Am Delicious. This is the fifth one that they have released. So I'm gonna be letting you know what it smells like and how it differs from the others in the range. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of other videos just like this. I do have a video on the four releases, the Yes I Am, Yes I Am Pink First, Yes I Am Delicious, and the purple one, Yes I Am Fabulous. And I also have an article that goes through the difference between them and this new one, including the limited edition collector they released last year, I think. And if you're a regular, then do check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications, and you can support me by signing up to my newsletter. Link will be down in the description box below, where I'll also put the link to where you can buy this new perfume in UK, Europe, North America, um, Australia as it becomes available. Cool, so you might not be familiar with the brand Casherelle. They are a brand that's been around for a really long time. Their Lulu perfume was very like well loved and popular. They had a, a Nase and Nase, which was a super powdery one. They've released a lot of different perfumes over the years, like over the decades, which have all been like affordable and really strong. The Cacherelle Amour Amour that comes in a red bottle I, it is a great perfume. You can usually find this for maybe like 20 pounds. It lasts really well. It's fruity, it's strong, it's girly. I know someone that wore this all the way through high school and whenever I smell it, I think of her. It was like her signature scent. So I really rate them as a brand. They create really affordable, but really really good for lasting perfumes. And then this Yes I Am range, which has been out for a few years now, um, are unique because you've got this lipstick shaped cap. And this is a 30 mil, I think. Yeah, 30 mil. Then the taller ones just get, they just get taller, the bigger sizes. So it becomes really long lipstick. And the first three, the red one, the pink one, and the purple one were all quite sexy, milky, caramelly, nutty perfumes. They're the kind of perfume I'd say are good for, you know, going out in the evening. They're a date night type perfume. The Yes I Am Glorious was um, quite different, like a peach fruity perfume that I'd recommend for during the day. Now this new one, Yes I Am Delicious, is back to a more sexy evening perfume. It's come out just before Valentine's. And it's actually got um, a lot of a chocolate perfume note in here. Now, you, if you're a fan of chocolate perfume notes, you'll know that they're not actually super common and it's quite hard to find a perfume that really does smell like chocolate. I would say that the best chocolate perfume that genuinely does smell like a bar of chocolate is Prada Candy Night. Um, I'll leave my video on that down below. That one just smells like chocolate. This new one, Yes I Am Delicious, has chocolate notes in it, but there are other things going on as well. So there's a little bit of hazelnut, so it's kind of a bit milky, nutty, but the other main note that I get is orange blossom, and that mixture of the cacao dark chocolate with the orange blossom really reminds me of black opium by Yves Saint Laurent, which is um, a super bestseller. So I would say that this is not the same, but it is a bit of a dupe or alternative to Black Opium. And of course it is much more affordable than the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. So I at first get the sweet sort of nutty, milky chocolate, and then I'm getting a ton of orange blossom. There's also some jasmine in here as well. So it becomes like a warm, slightly sweet, nutty, chocolatey floral. It's an eau de parfum, it's definitely strong. These are all pretty strong perfumes. They're all pretty good projection, good for lasting. Like I say, they are very good value for money. I really recommend them. And I think this one is one that would be liked by people that like the original Yes I Am. The other ones, um, it's got that same warm, milky undertone to it. And it's definitely something that you could you know, rely on when you're going out, if you want something with lots of projection. The 30 mils as well are quite like durable. I think you could put these in a handbag and you know, not be worried about it breaking. I think it's the first time that we've had a translucent bottle. It's kind of frosted, but you can see the liquid in it. And um, all the others were an opaque bottle. 
So I do think this will be popular, I do think this will do well, simply because black opium is so popular and does so well. So you should definitely check this out if you like the original black opium. But guys, let me know, have you managed to try this yet? What do you think of it? It's just becoming available, so I'll update the links down below as it does become available in different countries. But let me know what you think of this range and Cacharelle, which is your favorite from Yes I Am. Let me know in the comments down below, I do read all your comments. But cool, so definitely another Soki approved fragrance. It's a good fragrance, great for lasting, great production. So yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.